The opening scene of the movie depicts an icy kingdom inhabited by blue penguins, who suddenly face a grave threat when a massive, menacing ship belonging to the Koopa arrives at their shores. The Koopa army disembarks and confronts the penguins, ready to engage in a battle. Kamek, a high-ranking member of the Koopa clan, emerges from the ship to introduce their ruler, the sinister Bowser. Despite the penguins' valiant efforts to fight back, Kamek uses his magical powers to throw them aside, making way for Bowser to unleash his fiery breath and melt the penguins' ice castle. The evil king then proceeds to open a box with a question mark on it, revealing the coveted superstar that he claims will help him achieve his ultimate goal. In another part of the world, specifically in Brooklyn, we meet two brothers, Mario and Luigi, who have just started their plumbing business. While watching a commercial for their company, they get ridiculed by their former boss, Foreman Spike. Mario stands up for his younger brother Luigi, who is prone to nervousness and fear. Shortly after, the brothers receive a call for their first significant job, which could be a breakthrough for their business. However, things quickly take a turn for the worse when their van breaks down, forcing them to run across a construction site to reach their destination. As the sun sets, Mario and Luigi arrive at the grand estate of a wealthy couple to fix a leaky faucet. However, their mission starts off on the wrong foot when Luigi accidentally steps on the couple's dog toy, Francis. Despite the small mishap, Mario gets to work and quickly fixes the faucet, but things take a turn when Francis goes after the brothers. Chaos ensues as the bathroom becomes a disaster zone and Francis almost falls out the window, but the brothers manage to save him just in time. After a long day of work, Mario and Luigi head back to their modest home where their family is eagerly awaiting them. They sit down for a delicious dinner of pasta with mushrooms, but their parents express their doubts about the brothers' plumbing business, leaving Mario feeling dejected. Luigi tries to lift his brother's spirits by offering words of encouragement, but Mario can't shake off his feelings of inadequacy. As they watch the evening news, Mario and Luigi learn of a catastrophic pipe burst in downtown Brooklyn. Mario is convinced that only they can fix the problem and save the city. The brothers venture underground as the streets begin to flood and they navigate through the maze of pipes, trying to find the source of the issue. However, they soon realize that they are in over their heads when they fall deeper into the sewers and come across a strange system of pipes. Suddenly, the brothers are pulled into one of the pipes and transported through a series of portals leading them on a journey to an unknown destination and causing them to become separated. After being pulled into different portals, Luigi finds himself in a desolate place called the Dark Lands. His first encounter is with skeletal Koopa called Dry Bones, who chase him relentlessly. Luigi's only hope is to reach a nearby castle, but his momentary relief is cut short when he is captured by small masked minions. Meanwhile, Mario lands in a land full of giant mushrooms, where he meets Toad, a little mushroom-headed creature. After learning that Mario is searching for his brother, Toad realizes that Luigi may be in the dark lands and guides Mario to the Mushroom Kingdom to seek assistance. Mario and Toad arrive at Princess Peach's castle, where she is already aware of Bowser's evil plans and is strategizing with the Kong army to defeat him. Toad helps Mario sneak into the castle and Peach is delighted to meet another human being. However, before offering any help to Mario, she decides to test his skills to see if he is up to the task. As Peach agrees to help Mario find Luigi, she first puts him through an obstacle course to prove his worthiness. Despite her effortless completion of the course, Mario struggles with the challenges of falling platforms, man-eating flowers, and wrecking balls. Peach shows Mario various power-ups, including mushrooms that make him bigger and stronger, but he must be careful as any hit will cause him to lose the power-up. After hours of attempts, Mario finally makes it to the end of the course, but is ultimately chomped by a flower. Despite this setback, Peach recognizes Mario's determination and allows him to join her and the Toads on their mission to the Kong Kingdom. Before setting off, Peach reveals a surprising ability to produce fire using a flower. When Mario asks about her past, Peach admits to being a lost child who was taken in by the Toads and eventually made their princess. On the Koopa ship, Bowser reveals his sinister plan to marry Peach and rule the Mushroom Kingdom together using the powerful Superstar. He is interrupted by Comic, 
who informs him that Peach has been spotted with Mario, causing Bowser to become irrationally jealous. To calm his emotions, Bowser sings a melancholic piano ballad to himself. Soon after, the shy guys capture Luigi, and Bowser begins to torture him for information on his brother's whereabouts. Meanwhile, Mario, Peach, and Toad make their way to the Kong Kingdom seeking Cranky Kong's help to fight against Bowser. However, Cranky refuses to provide his army unless Mario proves his worth by winning a battle against his son in the arena. Despite Peach's objections, Mario agrees to the challenge, determined to save his brother. In the Kong Kingdom arena, Mario faces off against the imposing Donkey Kong. At first, the size difference and brute strength of DK prove too much for Mario, but he soon realizes the power of the available power-ups. Unfortunately, his first attempt goes awry when he consumes a blue mushroom that shrinks him down to a tiny size. But he doesn't give up and continues to fight, eventually coming across a cat suit that enhances his reflexes and agility, enabling him to dodge the barrels thrown by DK and land powerful punches. The cheering crowd witnesses Mario's stunning victory over Donkey Kong, and Cranky Kong agrees to provide his army to aid Peach in her fight against Bowser. Meanwhile, Luigi finds himself imprisoned with the penguins and their king, as well as a cheerful star named Lemily. As Bowser learns of Peach's alliance with the Kong army, he hatches a plan to thwart their efforts and maintain his grip on power. Assembling their carts, the heroes embark on a perilous journey to catch up with the Koopa and foil their plans. Riding across Rainbow Road, they're ambushed by Bowser's army, but with quick reflexes, Mario and his comrades manage to fend off most of the attackers. Despite their valiant efforts, Toad finds himself in a precarious position, teetering on the brink of falling off the bridge. Ever the hero, Peach rushes to his aid just in time. As the battle rages on, a Koopa general attempts to use his rig to take down Mario, but he skillfully evades the attack and retaliates by blowing up the general's vehicle. Enraged, the general unleashes a devastating kamikaze attack, destroying a section of the bridge and sending Mario and Donkey Kong tumbling into the ocean below. The Kongs are soon captured by the Koopa, and Peach frantically returns to the kingdom with Toad to warn everyone of Bowser's treacherous plans. Meanwhile, Mario and DK find themselves at odds as they struggle to stay afloat in the sea. In a stroke of bad luck, DK is struck by a falling tire from one of the carts rendering him unconscious. Mario manages to save his friend just in time, but their troubles are far from over. Suddenly, a massive moray appears and engulfs them both, threatening to swallow them whole. But all is not lost, as they discover a rocket from DK's cart and use it to blast their way out of the creature's stomach and back on course towards the Mushroom Kingdom. Peach returns to get the toads to evacuate, but Bowser and his goons show up. He offers his proposal to Peach, who immediately refuses until Bowser orders Kamek to torture Toad. Peach then agrees as long as the Toads are unharmed. Kamek then goes to the other prisoners to announce that they will be sacrificed. The wedding ceremony is about to go off until Bowser presents the sacrifices. Peach then says she was never going to marry him and takes in a blue flower to give herself ice powers. She freezes the mechanism and Bowser while the Toads begin to fight the Koopa. The mechanism breaks apart and the prisoners are lowered further into lava, with Luigi nearly dying first until Donkey Kong arrives, having been powered up with Mario, to raise them back up. Luigi falls until Mario shows up in a tanuki outfit that lets him fly. Bowser breaks free from the ice and orders a bomber build to be launched at the Mushroom Kingdom to obliterate it. Mario flies in Bill's eye and gets the giant bond to chase after him, leading him to the portal pipes where Bill explodes. The ensuing explosion causes everyone in the kingdom to get pulled in. Everyone ends up back in Brooklyn, including the Koopa's ship. A now enraged Bowser attacks Mario and beats him down, saying he has no chance to stop him. While Peach and DK try to fight, Mario hides in the pizzeria and sees his commercial with Luigi, inspiring him to keep up the fight. Bowser loses the superstar, and Mario tries to grab it but Bowser lets out his fire breath until Luigi steps in to shield Mario with a manhole cover. The two then run to the star and touch it, making them invincible and powerful, officially becoming the Super Mario Brothers. 
They plow through the coup paw and proceed to kick Bowser's but before slamming into him together and annihilating his ship. Now weakened, Peach feeds Bowser a blue mushroom to turn him tiny, and Toad traps him in a jar. Mario and Luigi's parents, the people of Brooklyn, and even Spike cheer for the brothers for saving everyone. Later on, Mario and Luigi continue their plumbing business, only they are now residing in the Mushroom Kingdom. The brothers hop into a portal pipe for another adventure.